All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, P Pistol B, Peter Blackburn. And tonight we are going to be playing some Command Modern Air Naval Operations. Uh, we're going to continue this these tutorials that I've been going through from the Steam uh, community post. And tonight's uh, post, tonight's, crap, tonight's stream will be Basic Training Submarine Operations 2013. It's an optional challenge. I did some submarine tutorial 1.4 earlier. And I got killed again. So, yay me. <laughs> so, we're going to do this basic training submarine operations. And then we're going to do uh, basic training warship operations. And we may throw in Uncle Mark's tutorials, NATO surface group versus Soviet forces. I'm not sure on that last one yet. Some of these take me a while to finish. So, with that in mind... Let's get ourselves cranked up and ready to go. All right, over here we have our start menu. Select a new scenario. I'm gonna go to tutorials, and we are doing basic submarine operations 2013. Difficulty is small. Complexity is small. Uh, the objective of this tutorial is to get players familiar with conducting submarine attacks against submarine warship and land targets while preventing a loss of their own submarine which probably means I'm gonna die because let's face it there is a reason why I was in the army and not in the Navy <clears throat> the event editor messaging function is used heavily in this scenario to provide instructions to players so special mes message pop-ups should be active uh, this is a single-sided scenario with a duration of two days. All right, let's load selected. All right, available sides of blue. Briefing for selected side. Basic training submarine operations task organization is uh, USS North Carolina. It's a Virginia-class submarine. Give me one second. Uh. All right, you are to conduct basic submarine warfare training in Hawaiian waters. You are to learn how to detect and kill submarine surface and land targets with your various sensors and weapon systems without loss of your own vessel. Good luck, me. This will be a four-phase exercise in three separate exercise areas. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. You may transit between each at high speed, but should slow down when moving into any zone to preserve your stealth characteristics. When game pop-ups do appear, please read them, as they'll give you some great tips on gameplay. You have 24 hours to complete all phases. Phase 1, Sub versus Sub. Proceed to exercise area A, marked by reference points Alpha 1 through Alpha 4, where a simulated, simulated Chinese Han-class submarine is currently patrolling. Detect and detroy, destroy this vessel. When complete, when complete, proceed at best speed to exercise area B. Please slow down before entering area to preserve stealth characteristics. All right. You may choose to create an ASW patrol mission in the mission editor to accomplish this task. Oh, interesting. So, you may choose to create to do so. Oh, that's a tip. Okay. Uh, phase two is a sub versus sub. Sub versus surface warship in area B. <clears throat> where you're going to target a Chinese Lu Lu <laughs> uh, class destroyer you can also set a mission for that um, then there's surface versus sub versus surface warship and ASW helicopter 
that's an area C. So, hunt down and kill that target. All right. And then sub versus land target is in four. Destroy the medium building target on Barking Sands missile range with one or two Tomahawk cruise missiles. Awesome. MCOM State B, limited emissions. Enter scenario. All right, conversion zones. All right, detailed fire control. Begin scenario. Two days. Okay. So, oops, 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 come on. Center on my ship. All right, so first thing we're going to do, F3. We're going to set a course here. Set a course there. All right. At this waypoint, we're going to set course and speed. We're going to change speed to creep. Uh, we're going to set uh, depth to just over the layer. All right. Right now. We are going to go just over the layer. We're going to set speed to full. And all right. So here we go. My ship should be running, which she is. All right. Proceed to exercise area A. Uh, kill the Han. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I can create an ASW patrol mission and mission editor to do this. So, I can go up here to mission editor. Move. Oh, yeah. Create new mission. Mission name. Kill Han. It's a patrol. It's an ASW patrol. I'm not going to deal with this, but I just wanted to look at that for a second.
deselect all reference points. Oops. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. So I think we're still turning. I don't want to set up that mission. Uh, one, it's a little past me. And number two, I'm in control of this ship. Let's just do it this way. I mean, we could try to do it the other way, but really, let's just go. And get this insanity over with. All right. So the ship should speed as I enter the area. Okay. Oh, crap. Ah. Crap. I've already been shot at. Of course, I've already launched two torpedoes to him, too. Okay. I've been ordered to periscope depth, but I'm not going to do periscope depth because I need to evade a torpedo. Okay. So, I have to go to the doctrine window. And what's it called? Da, 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 da. Dive. No. What is that? All right. So I think we have two torpedoes inbound. My ship is already evading. Looks like torpedo is inbound. I have two ad caps going out after him, and we are executing torpedo evasion as we speak. That guy was real close to the area. I wasn't even in. I wasn't even in the box before he detected and fired on me. Man, that was annoying. And my torpedoes are what picked up the torpedo. How's that for interesting? He was six miles away from me when I detected him. Oh. Oh, we broke... We broke the wire. Fish in the water. Yeah, there's fish in the water. That's right. And it's probably going to kill me. I should have told my ship to slow down a lot earlier. And try to get contact on that Han beforehand. But yeah, I lost. I'm probably going to get killed here. Because 42 seconds, 45 seconds ago. I'm slowly coming up to speed. I'm at 19 knots. We've, okay, blue scores points has been fixed. Okay, so let's go to, what's that at? Scoring. Your current score is one. Yay. Oh, I did get the Han. He fired two decoys and one torpedo. 
the U3 torpedo. Okay, so let's look at this contact report, unknown class. It's a U3, let's go to view, game, database viewer, aircraft, weapon, U-3, all right. Anticipated use from 1980 to 2020 plus. All right. Uh, range is four nautical miles. Kinematic range is seven nautical miles. Han isn't a decoy freighter. Yeah, he probably is. Okay. Probability of hit is 65%. Okay. It does have reattack capability. <laughs> Max speed is 35 knots. So if I can get up to 35, past 35 knots, and outrun him for 12 minutes. Well, here we go. I'm at 21 knots. I am cavitating. All right, so. At 102 feet. Once I get done, I'm going to head up here. <laughs> Isn't that a measure of distance? All right, I'm, I'm going 32 knots, so he can catch me. But I need to be working on uh, finding the Chinese Luhu class destroyer. This is gonna be fun. Fun. We get up to five seconds. Oh wow, I went way deep. I'm at 1,427 feet. I think I'm going as deep as I can go to get away from that torpedo. Because hopefully the torpedo, if it comes near me, I'm outside of its seeker head. All right, so at 12 minutes, <laughs> not everything in here reacts well to bullets. 
Yeah, like me. I don't react well to bullets. Okay, torpedo has been... Oh my gosh! That's the same torpedo, dude. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Dummy. <laughs> it's the same freaking torpedo. Huh. It's true. I wonder how Kevin would have played it, how well Kevin would have played it. Alright, so we want to set our speed here to creep. Yeah. Just over the layer, because I want to hear this dude. Alright. F2, we're going to go flank, let's go shallow, and let's get our butts over there as fast as we can. I haven't seen John's portrayal of it yet, so I'm not sure how... Uh, He's going to do how he does as Jack Ryan. <laughs> yeah. So how's the weather out there? Is it frightful? Are y'all singing let it snow, let it snow, let it snow? Because, come on, just let it snow already. Oh, yeah, I probably want to be going more than... All right, we lost contact with Torpedo 4. Some solid white free steps around. That's good. Hopefully it's falling. malleable yeah it's only mal oh, hold, hold on hold on hold on all right new contact designated skunk number five on the ground for several days all righty new contact designated skunk five detected by uss north carolina estimated range 15 miles All right. Uh, weapons. Yeah, I hear ya. I got new tires, what, two weeks ago? Three weeks ago, babe? Black Friday, I got new tires on Black Friday. Cost me way too much. Okay, so what is the range they're given? Kinematic range. Ooh, anti-surface is 8 nautical miles. If I can get within 8 nautical miles of that dude, I'm going to blow his butt out of the water. 
All right. Sorry, control D. Right now, we are 15 nautical miles away. Yes, the ad cap is called the sea bass. And yes, I know what you just, I know what quote just went through your head. And I might even kick his ass. But. Let's see, it's a destroyer. It's a Luhu. I can mark him as hostile because I already know he's hostile. Changing the name to Sierra 5. That's all right. Let's change our depth. Um, nope, not weapons. Depth. Okay. Let's go to periscope depth. Going to see if I can pick them up. No, she isn't. My domestic partner is not hostile with me. All right. Let's look at our database. For ships. I'm going to assume it's this one, the Type 52. Hey, Chris 5 Crossley, thanks for following. That's awesome, because that's the first time I've ever had that happen, because I'm using my XSplit broadcaster today. Oh, uh, WB Ball 15 wants to know if you got the correct sandwich. Apparently, he saw he saw you in the background holding your plate with the sandwich. No, he can't see you eating it. Oh, she made it. She didn't order it, so it has to be the correct sandwich. It is a practically perfect sandwich. Okay, um, what is his radar warning receiver at 120 nautical miles? I'm not going to be able to pop radar on him. He's going to know. Um, let's see. File control, control radar. No, I was not marked on the other sandwich. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, that is true. He's talking about Jimmy John's from Jimmy John's the other night with the giant sandwiches that you posted with the Peter's husband and Dana's or Peter's wife and Dana's husband. You posted it on Instagram, didn't you? Yes. Matthew. Oh no. No. <laughs> Yeah. Dana says hi. Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out. Uh, his whole sonar is at 8 nautical miles. So he's probably going to pick me up at 8. TV tracker identified a camera. He might pick me up with his uh, TV tracker. He has a fire control radar. It's not going to work for him. Where's his surface radar? Surface, surface radar is the one that I'm concerned about. I don't think he has a surface, surface radar. Why wouldn't he have a surface, surface radar? Okay. Oh, no. No, 
This is not the Crimson Tide. Not Crimson Tide. Okay, so I'm going to pull a 90 degree leg on him. We're going to... Or a 40 degree leg on him. What's that? One thing that I'm looking for. Custom layers, no. Range and bearing tool, yeah. So, yeah, almost 45 degrees. So I can get a better fix on his position. I'm going to stay creeping. We're at periscope depth. Um... Estimated 16 nautical miles away. I could pop him. What do I have weapons wise? Oh, I have T-Lam. T-1's already reloaded. What is TACOM? Weapon Seeker. The E. Is this? Oh, please don't be. Friggin'. Um. It's anti land. Of course, it's anti land. Okay. Stay creeping. Use a swordfish. Yeah, this is like 2013. All the swordfish are basically scrapped by now or as museums. All right, I'm picking up a medium frequency sonar. What's the layer depth? Is minus, it says 374 to 633. Okay, so let's, let's transit the layer real quick. Let's go just under the layer. Avoid cavitation. So we're going to dive down to the layer. Then I think we're going to sprint. <laughs> Makeup jargon that sounds like related intel. Yeah. If I had a harpoon, I could probably hit him with it from here. What? Sonar jammer? What the frack? The usual suspects. Okay, the ADC Mark IV Mod Zero torpedo decoy is... Uh... Is this a moss? This may be a moss. That's not a moss. Screw that, weapons. Okay, so those 57 seconds, all right, uh, let's go F2, see where we're at, all right, we're almost under the layer, yeah, no trident on this one, sorry, all right, so let's come to Sprint and drift. Avoiding cavitation. 
So I want to sprint and drift and try to track this guy that way. Okay, A and T B. Let's look at our sensors. A and T B twenty nine is passive only thin line toad array sonar system. Alright. So oops. Alright. Drifting, 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 drifting. Uh, drift. Oh yeah, I didn't realize behind enemy lines had submerged vessels. Continue to no, let's go cruise. Want to go cruise for until eighteen two minutes. Slow down the creep. Change to just over layer. And so as I slow down and come up. Why, Mr. Luthor? Shut up, Otis. Shut up, Otis. What is this? It's Otisburg, Mr. Luthor. Real. I don't know. Oh man, I'm gonna be hurting if this guy's gone. Alright, we're coming up. We're going slow, we're creeping. Seventeen minutes, ten seconds, he may be on us. Shift. All right. Does he have us again? I think I have enough for a bearing shot on him. Oh, let's see, game. Map settings. Raspberry Jam. All right, so. Shift F1. Out of weapon range. That's right. Okay, so I need to be within eight canonical miles of this guy. Let's control D. There's a chance that I am. I could probably launch torpedoes at him. Uh, 
allocate one weapon to select a target. DDG5. Weapon launched. Set across her nose, not up it. I'm tithing. Oh, <laughs> my face. He may be outside my range. All right. What's my chance of hitting Mr. C Bass? C Bass is uh, surface reliability is eighty five percent. So come on, eighty five percent. saying I have one weapon allocated to him. He's traveling 175 degrees at a speed of five knots. Holy crap, I think he's launched a missile. No, no he has not. Whew. I was worried. Thought he launched a missile. Oh, he's detected the torpedo. <coughs> he's going full speed trying to get out of the torpedo's range. 25 knots, 28 knots. All right, so torpedo is going 65 knots. Yeah, that's what the sea bass is all about. Holy crap, he just lit up his, he just went woof. He just lit up his controls like crazy. All of, he has gone encom crazy. He may have dropped a de he may be dropping decoys. I don't know what he has weapons wise. Does he have weapons wise? Let's slow this down. Damn. Oh, he, oh, he's the other one. I didn't think it was this one. Okay. So. Very large pier. What is his torpedo tubes, 100 millimeter gun. 37 millimeter guns, ASW rockets, awesome. He turned the other direction, so. Um, generic chaff rocket. It's like a crotal and a quad guided missiles, magazines, comms, data, signatures, passive radar. Um, don't see. Um, any I don't know I don't see any um, decoys but we'll see he's going 31 knots my torpedo
is 1.49 kilometers, sorry, 1.49 nautical miles behind him. Come on, torpedo. Get him! Get him! Get him! Speeding up. Two seconds. One second equals two seconds. Double time. Five seconds. Can I get him? Can I get him? Come on, we can get him. Here we go. Sea bass is on him. Come on, sea bass, get him. Sea bass is less than one nautical mile away. All right. <clears throat> Add zero four three four Zulu. Sorry, 0437. Add cap. Uh, attacked the Luhu and impacted. 95% impact. U.S. North Carolina is dropping Luhu from its target list. Reason the target is not auto targeted and no outstanding weapons or assignments against it exist. Uh, I gotta find out just how damaged that dude is. BDA is uncanon. He's going one knot. All right. Come to periscope depth. Alright, so he's still out there. He's still alive, but I can't launch on him again. I probably should have fired two. Because I don't know how damaged he is. Let's... Turn 90 degrees. And get a... <clears throat> See if we can get it at the tail. All right. 
Alright, so he's 13 nautical miles away now. We need to change course and speed. All right, pushing in. I just want to get close to my range before he sees me. Go shift F1. Out of weapons range. Come on. Just a little bit farther in. Come on. I don't want to be detected. Don't want to be detected. Come on, come on, come on. Weapon is out of range. Still no BDA on target. It's been almost an hour since he got hit with the first one. Creep. Shift F1. Target him again. Allocate one weapon to target. Fire. Weapon launched. All right, he is attempting to evade. ECM is going crazy. Got to keep the wire on him all the way in. Pop on a jammer. I think he's dropping uh, decoys. Alright. Let's get this guy. Let's blow him out of the water. Alright, looks like we torp torpedo seeker has him. He can get up to eight knots. So, I really damaged his engine. I had to have damaged his engine a lot. Contact report. Alright. Here we go. In your baffles, homie. All right, he can go eight knots. I'm gonna get him. Here we are. Two, one. No reattack. Dud, dud, dud. Shift F1. Target three. Okay, two targets, two, oh, oh. deallocate, fire two. <laughs> All right.
we go again. All right, change course. I'm gonna try to skirt his range. See if we can get him to turn around again. Come on, turn around, buddy. I just launched two more torpedoes at you. You can do a max speed of eight knots. Man. So mod seven was a dud. Mod seven sea bass number sixty seven was a dud. That's not good. Come on, come on. Oh, there he goes. He's turning around now. All right. Get him. Get him. All right. A few seconds away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boom. All right. Red Luhu sinks. 100%. Number 68 got him. Now we have to go up against the Udaloy and C1 to 4. speed Pokey six what are you going after mr. torpedo oh All right, hopefully that bogey stays in the circle where he's supposed to be. Am I stuck in? Oh, 
Why am I stuck at 12 knots? Make your depth shallow. Stop. Creep. All right. You know life can get sick. Pew pew. The mortal engines. Sensors. Okay. Well, I'm above the lair, so I should pick this guy up sometime. Thirty seconds. Okay, okay, shoot, 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 crap. <coughs> Fire bearing. We're not messing around. We're gonna get these torpedoes out now. All right, make your depth as deep as possible. Hopefully that's somewhat close to where this guy is. Otherwise this is gonna blow.
All right, we've gone deep to avoid him. She's a silly goose. Go flank. Oh, I'm going to lose my wires. Let's not go flank yet. Dang it. I already lost him. Go. 32. All right. He wants to get outside of that seeker cone. Can he get away? Probably. We're gonna come up to just over the layer. Possibly locked on target. Or they m missed him and are not reattacking. Oh, they may have him. All right. We got him. Got him with both torpedoes. Now we have to Okay, shallow depth to fire torpedoes. <coughs> okay. All right. So uh, 
don't have to worry about that guy. Seeing my launch. Come up to a shallow depth. Oh, wait, that's. Shallow depth. Shift to F1. Medium build in. Am I weapons hold? How am I on weapons hold? Do 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 do. Okay. Is it? Yeah. All right, <laughs> F one. Manual weapon allocation. Plot course. Three legs. Building destroyed. Final score is four. I expended eight ad caps and one tomahawk. The submarine, the Han, has been lost. The Luhu was lost. The Udaloy was lost. The Udaloy fired four torpedo decoys. Good job. Good job, you. All right, folks. You know, I wanted to do two tonight, but I'm going to switch it. We're just going to end up doing one. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming out. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay out of trouble. Be good. Will you be good? Please be good. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day now. Laters.